my name is Daryl Power. I'm from Outer Cove, which is north of St. John's, and right now we're playing with a band called Great Big Z. I've been playing with Bob Hallett and Sean McCann now for about four years or so. We've been having a great time, and this is our second project, and we've been together since March, and it's going pretty well. You're a bass player? Uh, I was an acoustic guitar player, and I still do play acoustic guitar, but right now with this project I'm playing with, playing the bass. Mm -hmm. How do you like that? Uh, I enjoy the bass. You know, I find the uh, acoustic guitar, you can only go with the style of music. I, I pretty well had played everything I was playing, but I find you can do some different things with the bass and achieve a lot of different sounds and try and get a more, not so much the, a folky sound, but maybe you know, something more along the lines of rock and roll songs sometimes and uh, country songs or whatever. All different styles. I'm Alan Doyle. I'm from Petty Harbor and I play guitar and sing in the Great Big Sea. Also, uh, I mean, songwriters, I guess, like original folk music with them. Yeah, I, uh, a couple of the tunes that are on the record I wrote uh, myself, and uh, a bunch of others that are kicking around, hopefully for another recording. I know. What, is, what is it about songwriting that motivates you? Primarily things that come around, you know. Uh, I, for a long while I thought that songwriting uh, depended on some divine inspiration, you know. But uh, it doesn't happen that way for me anyway. It's, it, it takes a while, the little idea that I get, uh, from something I see around me and just I got to sit and work at it and build on it and get things ready for a project or for whatever I need them for. Think of talking of the things they do if we'd only vote them in. Send one more dollar and all the bickering and suffering would end. If you'd sign your ex in favor, it's three jobs for every man. You can burn your boats, that's what they said. It seemed they had it planned. And I hope they haven't forgotten the promises they made. Cause they said they'd stop the fighting And they said they would bring peace well, My name is Bob Hallett, I'm from St. John's, the townie. I play mandolin, tin whistle, button accordion and fiddle with the band Great Big C. Well, I've been playing, uh, I've been playing folk instruments, you know, since I was uh, an adolescent in one form or another and uh, over the last few years I've, I suppose I've developed that into a professional career. Hi, I'm uh, Sean McCann. I sing and play boron and tin whistle and guitar with the band Great Big Sea. Where are you from and tell us about that. Uh, I'm from a place in Conception Bay called Gull Island. Actually, I belong there. That's where you belong out there. You don't come from there. And uh, I come from a long line of storytellers and joke tellers, starting with my grandfather, Jerry McCann, God rest his soul, and going down through my father and now finally to me. Great big sea hove in Long Beach, whack for laurel, tattle to the light, oh, great big sea hove in Long Beach, Granny Snook, she lost her speech to me right uh, I kind of grew into it uh, from the stories my grandfather told me. He was a great old fellow. He died when he was 100 years old, and he was always a very patient man. Uh, I remember he had one glass eye, and when he was telling stories sometimes, he'd take his glass eye out and show us and drive us away when he was had enough of the kids. But uh, that's where it started, uh, and there was always a few songs on the go, usually around Christmas time out, out around the Bay in Island. And uh, I guess I got into music uh, thanks to Bob Hallett, my partner in crime, about six years ago. Uh, we started, we formed a band called NRA, and we were a, a cult favorite on the university around campus. And as Bob describes, we, we quickly collapsed on our own political weight. And anyway, NRA grew into Rankin Street, uh, which lasted for about four years. And now we've evolved into a great big C. Policemen all from Donny Goals, like a Owen Leacham too. We'll give them a slip, then we'll take a sip, but a bucket at a mountain dew. What makes Great Big C a, a different uh, concept band is the fact that there's a fusion of styles. 
uh, you have uh, old Irish style and myself, uh, English and Irish and Bob's background in the form of folk music. And then you have people like Daryl Power and Alan Doyle who are seasoned rock and roll people. And when we came together, we actually we all get along very well. And it's always a, a, a treat to play with these guys because you never know what's going to happen. And it's reflected in the music. And it, it's really important to me that these old songs come out in new ways. Uh, we've been playing traditional music for some seven years now, myself and Bob especially. And now it's our turn to put something back into it. And that's what we're doing with Great Big C. And it turns out to be quite entertaining, actually. A lot of people like it, what we're doing. Well, music runs in my family. My, my father played in the CLB band, and one of my grandfathers played piano at the Nickel Theater. My sister is a professional musician, and my father uh, and both my parents, I suppose, were quite musical as well. So it's, uh, I'm just carrying on a, a family trade. Was, uh, was it always folk music, or did you yourself dabble in other things? No, I've, I've played in all kinds of bands, country and rock and roll bands, and uh, for a long time I was a stalwart of the local punk community. But the last five or six years, I've devoted myself exclusively to folk music. What was it about, about folk music, or what is it about folk music that brought you back? Yeah. Well, folk music has, uh, has deep roots in Newfoundland, and uh, Newfoundland music, I suppose, is the way I think of it more than folk music. You know, Newfoundland uh, culture is very important to me personally, and folk music is one of the strongest elements of that. So to me, it's just a natural progression. If you're interested in Newfoundland culture and you're a musician, and the thing to do is to play Newfoundland music. Music is definitely in my family. My father played for X number of years on All Around the Circle. And uh, my mom taught music lessons and uh, my uncles, the first band I played in essentially was with my uncles and we played in uh, middle of the road rock and roll bands up and down on the southern shore. And um, essentially I grew up with it uh, both in the house and, and outside the house. It was generally what went all the way around the Doyle family in Petty Harbor. But is it, is it the what, when you're on stage, is it what people give back to you? Is it the audience that makes you go crazy? Or is it the lighting? Or is it just the sound? Is it? It's definitely the audience. It's definitely the audience. It's, it's Describe a Great Big Sea audience. What's that about? It's funny. Lately, Great Big Sea audiences have been varied. We've been getting, what I like about this show, and what you don't get from a standard rock band like I used to play in, is that we get people from 19 years old to 65 years old coming to our shows. There's something in this for everyone, because we're still playing some of the old songs, and uh, which older people love to hear all the time, and, but we're approaching them with such a, a youthful zest, I suppose, that the young people really get off on it, and they hear songs that their grandparents used to sing, but they, you know, they see four young guys up going mad on stage singing them, so it's, you know, that's what I like about the Great Big Sea audience now. Is, is it attracting a lot of young people? Yeah. I mean, I've seen it come here and I've yeah. seen people slam yeah. dancing folk music. Yeah. yeah. I kind of I like that for a bunch of reasons. One of which is that it, it really, uh, it really makes songs last. Uh, we're going to, you know, preserve songs by making them applicable to the younger generation. Uh, and secondly, uh, I had an experience a couple of days ago. Since the record's been out, I heard a bunch of kids in Petty Harbor skipping while they were singing Excursion Around the Bay. And like I said, wow, right on. That's exactly the point. If we can, you know, if we can make, you know, an old standard tune like Excursion Around the Bay applicable to, you know, a bunch of young kids who were skipping on the side of the street, then, then that's it. That, that's, that, that's one of the major goals achieved right away because, you know, that's what we want to do, you know. We had full 300 souls on board, oh, what a splendid sight. My strong and regimental to make our spirits bright. And myself being in the double, when the funny things they'd say. They choke themselves from laughing when they see us in the bay. Oh me, oh my, I heard me old wife cry. Oh me, oh my, I think I'm gonna die. Oh me, oh my, I heard me old wife say. I wish I'd never had taken this excursion around the bay. Excursion Around the Bay is a, it's an old song. Some people say that Johnny Burke wrote the tune. Uh, the Bard of Prescott Street it's, has the same kind of feel as one of his songs. And I've heard a cousin of mine, Gabe Houlihan, sing it. Sang a little bit slower and it with a slightly different melody. Some people might remember it from a different melody. But we sped it up a little bit, added the boran, and uh, came up with this song, which is a little bit of a song that sort of puts a smile on your face, I guess. How does your family look upon you playing music now? Uh, a living. As the living, I guess there always there's a, a certain degree of anxiety expressed over the fact that I'm trying to do this for a living. I am trying to do this for a living, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I guess they they deal with it. They they have their ups and downs. Sometimes they're upset about it, and other times they're pretty pleased with it all. Uh, a lot of it has to do with what what we think will will people dance to. 
because we want people to dance at our shows and want them to tap their, their, their toes and have a good time. So we try to keep our, our arrangements upbeat, and we also want to keep, uh, preserve uh, what the songs are actually about, uh, keep the, the emotion and intensity of the, of the words intact. And I spent my whole life out there on the sea Some government bastard now takes it from me It's not just the fish, they've taken my pride I feel so ashamed that I just want to hide No, really, I, I think what we're going to try to do is, is work as hard as we're working. We're working very hard. And to take it as far as we can go and take Newfoundland music, A, across Canada and, and probably into the States, and as far as they'll let us go. I don't think I've ever seen uh, young people, I can't believe I'm saying that, young people, university circuit or whatever, go as nuts with folk music as they try to go crazy with the new music. I see why do you think that is? I think that the they've probably been ignored uh, uh, it's not it's not i don't think it's great big c the music stands on its own i believe and now people are just starting to hear it again probably because people like us are out and playing it i mean for a while it just wasn't available and it's only like the last seven years or six years that people actually started to play it again and uh, it's good music and people are reacting and they're, they're they like it i guess they're tired of of uh, pop music or stuff that they see on here on radio or all the time it's different it's an alternative and it's fun Great Big Sea is an interesting balance for this period, I suppose, in Newfoundland of, of traditional ideas and contemporary ideas. And any traditional musician, whether, whether grounded in the, the strictest folk things or the most modern thing, is going to be influenced by what's going on around them. And Great Big Sea is sort of a distillation of the, the trends in folk music that are around now, plus the trends in contemporary music. What's its future, do you think? I think the future of Newfoundland music is very, very strong. Uh, young people are learning the music, you know, like myself. And as well, there's a strong core of older performers to pass things on. And young people are very, very interested in it, too. It's, it's not an isolated phenomenon. I think, uh, you know, young Newfoundlanders are interested in their culture and their history, and, and music is an important part of that. I'd like to play Wembley next weekend for 165 million people. <laughs> Realistically, um, I'd like for us to, uh, I mean, music for me has never been a, a money-making venture so much as it's been a, an opportunity, A, to meet people, and be to sustain some type of life on stage and I guess for the most part to get a chance to travel I'd like to get take this group I'd like to bring what you know a zestful young Newfoundland act has to offer to uh, to the world if we can take there to Canada and the United States Great Britain you having fun? I'm having a ball I'm having a ball and people will come to see that I think one of the things that's attractive about the band is that the guys on stage look like they're having fun you know because we are because we honestly do and we you know it, if I didn't have fun with it, I mean, everyone in our group has got, you know, university degrees. We've all got other jobs that are just there on the side waiting. Whenever we want to go to them, we can. But right now we're doing this because it's fun. And, uh, uh, and you know, it comes across on stage. I absolutely love playing this music. I did play rock and roll in a rock and roll band, but I feel that I really enjoy playing this style of music. And I don't know about Great Big Sea. I'm sure it will be around for a long while, but I hope to be around longer. <laughs> but I think that this, we got a good combination of guys here, a great combination of guys, and you know, it's gonna go well, I think. Our typical audience is uh, people from the ages of 19, uh, unless they can get in younger, uh, to right up until their 60s and 70s. Uh, it's a broad base because uh, people who are 60 and 70 or 80 or 90 years old remember the songs traditionally. And uh, these old songs are now new songs for the people who are 19 and 20 years old. And uh, everyone can dance to them and everyone enjoys them equally as much. So uh, I don't know. What's old to the old is new to the new, I guess. Like anything else, I mean, uh the fiddlers of another generation can't be compared to the fiddlers now. I mean, everybody is good in their own context. And uh, I'm just trying to play as well as I can within my own capabilities. 
And if I can, you know, carry on the tradition by producing a few tunes of my own, I'm happy enough to do it. Uh, I'm not going to delude myself into my own abilities. I'm certainly not going to compare myself to the greats of the past or anything. However, you know, I mean, uh, I am playing, and that, that's, that's sufficient, I suppose, for me. Well, I think the, uh, we play the music so that it has a physical appeal. I mean, we, uh, you know, we're not a sit-down folk band playing quietly on a stage somewhere to a, a class full of university professors. I mean, we're, we're a very aggressive physical band, and I think young people are drawn to that physicality. I started playing the boron about five years ago. And uh, it took me a long time to figure it out. There is a, it's a kind of a knack to it. And a lot of people have asked me to show them how to do it. And I haven't successfully taught anybody yet. But uh, I don't know, it's just it's something that it, once you figure it out, it just stays with you and it's very hard to explain. What is it about the instrument? What? It's, it's the, uh, the instrument, I'm attracted to it because it's the beat. It's the backbone of traditional, you know, traditional sessions. Uh, there's an accordion or a fiddle usually because they're loud instruments, and then there's the boron, which is really acts like a bass, or a, a, it's the heart of it, it's, it's the beat, it's the driving behind it. And that's why I always, I, I was immediately attracted to it. And I, I, I love it. I have five. <laughs> Good for attracting women? Uh, no, I don't think, no. Women actually don't like the, the thought of, uh, of the, the skin of a goat being wrapped around a wooden, uh, a wooden frame, and uh, a lot of people feel bad for the goats. And, you know, I, I'm, so I'm not, it's not a politically correct instrument you play. I don't know if it's politically correct or not. It depends on, you know, we don't, it depends on if you want goats, really. I mean, I'm not a great goat. I, mean, I don't have a pet, most people don't have pet goats, but uh, when, we, when we do tell people that it's uh, the skin of a goat, a lot of women just go, ooh, that's not very nice, you know. Could be worse, could be a cat. What are you at? How's she going, buddy? What are you at today? Great Big C plays all over, so when the last song sung, Sean, Daryl, Alan, and Bob call home long distance and catch up. Among them, they save $100 a month on long distance with Teleplus, over and above evening and night calling discounts. And that's music to their ears. Newfoundland Telephone's Teleplus. Call now and save. What are you at? Newfoundland Telephone, the voice of generations. Everybody in the studio is going to sing, yes, for God's sake. Clap your hands. What do you at? How's she going, buddy? What do you at today? Yes, boy. What do you at? How's she going, buddy? What do you at today? Now, since it's the election, and we're operating on a bilingual country, for God's sake, everybody sing it in French. On the count of four, one, two, and one, two, three, four. Can't you see pass? Can't you see pass aujourd'hui? Can't you see pass? Can't you see pass aujourd'hui? What do you at? How's she going, buddy? What are you at today? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? What do you do with a drunken sailor? Light in the morning. We a great big sea washed into Myron's this week, playing original and traditional songs about Newfoundland, which was just fine for some homesick members of the crowd. And every day are in this place, or two days nearer death. You know, every place we go, we find people want to hear some songs from home. They want to hear the old piece of the old Newfoundland tradition, you know? There's always, always, there's Newfoundlanders everywhere, everywhere. I used to buy the bills of boat, I used to buy the sails, I used to buy the catch of the fish to bring some home to lies. Newfoundland can be a very grim place, the weather's hard and the, the, the landscape is very harsh and it's a hard place to make a living. And I think people poured a lot of their joy and their happiness into the music. And uh, you know, that's a tradition that we're very, we're very proud to uphold. Newfoundland music has got this, this brightness, this happening thing that uh, you just can't resist. I mean, we certainly can't. Great Big C is less than two years old. They've already released one CD and another one is on the way. They're also on the verge of announcing a music deal at the East Coast Music Awards. Negotiations are down to the bottom line. We're up. It's like the hockey strike, you know, we got a <laughs> final deadline has passed and uh, hopefully we'll have some big news in the weekend in Sydney. So what do you do with a drunken sailor? Sir, 
But I'm in a paddy wagon. The boy's back home, though. We've always felt that uh, putting him on a CD was the, uh, <laughs> the, only, the only possible solution to that one. Now, boys. Hey, Snook. Listen, Soundtech couldn't make it. Here's our set list and our light cues. Light list? Yeah, we got some product here, too. Listen, you're going to have to set up a little table by the soundboard, see these cassettes, shirts, and hats, and, and here's the cash box, and uh, we need a flow, too. Thanks, man. Oh, what? Soundboard? Just a bunch of buttons, nothing to it. Yeah, but hang on, Snook, now, boys. how are you? A bunch of my buddies are coming down tonight. I wrote their names down. Keep an eye out for them, will you? Yeah, Thanks. but uh, he thinks we're off to a rocky start. Well, boys, I think we got him worried. Yeah, he should be. Yeah, he's gonna be a busy lad tonight. <laughs> Serves him right for the last time. Can you imagine trying to loan Dougie our van? Well, I'd say we just keep piling the stuff on him because I just know he's gonna snap. Here we are, Nottingham. Have you got anything to say? Hmm? Residents of Nottingham. It appears as though a uh, plague has afflicted the pigeons of Nottingham, leaving them all speechless. That's our audience for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. It's pretty much like a ghost town around here. Here's the venue. This is too... Decided that this is too bizarre. Yeah. Middle of beautiful and historic Nottingham. We're stuck in the middle of fucking Kilmory Resort, splashing <laughs> on the fucking park. Yeah. Boy, they can ski, though. They're good skiers. Can they ski or what? Oh, yeah. Can I go up and have a few spins or what? I think we gotta pay for that. No, I can't pay me a free pass. <laughs> well, I'm impressed with this. This is certainly a unique experience in my life, Chad. Yeah. Well, I'd almost like to try it. But actually, the boss, it takes me like two seconds to get down the hill. You mean skiing? Yeah. Oh, okay. You said that's just right, right there. Yeah. We can probably get a view, actually, Sean, if we pan up. Okay. You can probably get a view of the skiing here. Clear <laughs> one. Your shoulders down your mouth. The boys stop before they get I know you want to say something. This is lovely. <laughs> this is a great gig. This is the best gig we've ever had, ever. Alan, what are you doing? Oh, this is a bizarre experience, Sean. It's a series of firsts for Newfoundlanders in England. Not only are we playing, we're skiing. In historic Nottingham, Sight of many of the fables such as Robin Hood and the like. You kind of look like Robin Hood in those boots, man. We're going, we're, we're going skiing. Stay tuned. It's going to be wicked. Alan. <laughs> okay, Alan, be careful. <laughs> Good luck! Oh, us make us descent. And he's off. Here he comes. No, yeah, no. <laughs> he's doing good. He's doing good. Showing fine form. Sporting his St. John's Maple Leafs jersey. Oh, there goes down. He's moved into the clutch. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> For all Newfoundlanders at heart here this evening, this is a Newfoundland night, and we're spreading it all across the UK. And Ireland. And Ireland, yeah. What? Alan. Yeah. Thoughts on the gig? Uh, the gig last night it was quite good. I wish I had been a bigger crowd. But uh, I felt we played really well. I stunk around with the UK comment. There's no doubt about that. Yeah. Uh, okay. What was that, the comment? How did it go? What happened? I think I said uh, it's great to be here spreading our music all across the UK. It's good. It's not to be Which, of course, we were in Dublin. That's where my exact words. They were your exact words. My exact words were, um, it's great to be here spreading our music all across the UK. We're spreading it all across the UK. Well, we're in Dublin, which isn't in the UK. So everybody pointed to the stupid trick 
Uh, I think you did it bad. Personally, I would never do that. I would not leave the keys to you. Oh, Now we agree. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bob makes the comment that he would never have left the stupid keys in the ignition in the first place. Well, I think that's another prime example of Bob Hallett passing the buck. <laughs> it's like this, Sean. What, what, what Bob is trying to say is that if he were driving the vehicle, he would not have locked the keys in the car. And I have no doubt in my mind that that's the fact. As However, what I'm fully aware that happened is that Tony got out, closed the doors, left the keys in, assuming everyone was going to stay. Bob got out, seeing everybody was leaving, and in his safety conscious mind, as good as he is, he said, well, we might as well lock the doors if we're all getting out. Yeah. And Bob closed the door behind him and then locked the keys in. Homeboys, get your code it, program it right. Nothing ever happens in this life of mine. And I'm holding up the data on the Xerox line. Oh, that's nice and cool, man. Oh, capturing the essence of the See? Manging. Manging on like cone the custard. Oh yeah. Tell us in your own words what just happened there. <laughs> Explain what happened. I bought a small custard cone, get two licks off it, and Doyle wants to have a lick of my cone, which is disgusting in itself. That's said cone right there. And in his first lick, the ice cream fell off into his hand. Like a sentiment for a large spare. I just came for the bathroom and you know one ever washed my hands. <laughs> you know You're gonna eat it anyway, but then again it's your arse. It's worth my hair. I've been trying You've been trying to lick your arse. I've been years. trying for 17 years to lick my own arse. <laughs> oh listen to the lovely VOWR folks. Time now, 10.33. Beautiful morning through Chernobyl Park. Feeling as helpless as a kitten up the tree this morning. Just sit back, relax, ease your feet back. Yes, throw your clothes in the dryer. Have a cup of tea. <laughs> Close your eyes and listen to the sentimental sounds. It is misty. We drive in sun, then we drive in rain. We wonder when we'll see home again. We wonder if they'll want us back after three long months in a dirty laundry sack. With the big highway, drive all day. Hope we all get back okay. Tony Pitcher, he's our man. He leads the charge with a steady hand. He'll drive all night in a great big van. That's not an easy task when you're carrying a band. With a big highway, drive all day. Hope we all get back okay. The policeman, he will pull us in. He'll search our vehicle for rum and gin. He'll search us high and he'll search us low. But in the end, he'll have to let us go. On the big highway, drive all day. Hope we all get back okay. After 14 hours of sweat and smoke, after 14 hours of sweat and smoke If I go another mile, sure I think I'll surely choke 200 miles to the nearest motel Did you ever get the feeling that your life's a living hell? On the big highway, drive all day Hope we all get back okay When we get home, it's time for play We'll drink all night and we'll sleep all day Way back home with all of our friends Till a gig turns up and we're on the road again On the big highway, drive all day Hope we all get back okay On the big highway, drive all day Hope we all get back okay Andy Ganesh. Excited about the show, Alan. I am. I'm ready. Good. Good. Good, Daryl. Daryl's doing his publicity. How are you doing, man? Press. Sean McCain's uh, Press extensive, oh. extensive, oh, look out, that's down, extensive listing here. Oh, yeah, the Bible. Does he put that stuff back in the Bible now, or what? The Black Book of Terror. I even see the, 
He's got everything here from uh, bar owners, press, and I believe I'm not sure, but there could even be a couple of old, uh, a couple of old drag offs hidden in amongst oh, this list somewhere. Uh, Might be a few streels in there somewhere. Uh, that's right. We're going to PEI, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> God. Get off the beach. Great boy has come out of the water. <laughs> Here we are. Top of the world. Jasper Canada. Good evening. More often than not, publicity photos for bands are the most important thing that you can ever do. Uh, and it's very important that we take them seriously and every time we get them to make sure we look our best and not only to look attractive but look interested, intelligent and enthusiastic on every publicity opportunity. Let's take this example right here in the, uh, this is in the, uh, what is this Sean, the uh, Guardian. Prince of Island Guardian, Thursday, November 3rd, 1994. Now we have a lovely headline, band, Great Big Sea, Wells, Celtic Rock. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now let's start right here, Mr. Power. Looks yeah. really interested, nice smile. Let's move over to Mr. Hallett. Mr. Hallett. Looking really good, nice and sharp. Let's see Alan, nice smile, really good. But yeah. Then we have little retardo, <laughs> name, who's all of a sudden, somehow, not only fucking dopey looking, but cooking his seat. <laughs> and what are you doing with the fucking hat? Sideways. Sideways. <laughs> yes, sir. Sean McCann goes into lock on, lock on hat <laughs> mode from now on for every publicity shot. Exactly. The one sexy piece of gear man with the big smile and the big Jacques Martin chin has turned into fucking, you, what was his name? You prick from the fucking Steve <laughs> <Yeah. Brown. laughs> You prick. Good one, good one. <laughs> Things have taken a sudden turn for the worst, ladies and gentlemen. We've gone from the glorious ferry to the death boat. <laughs> oh, I don't know about this one. Check it out. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh my god. Look at this guy. Oh, we are fucked a little dog. Look at him. No, no, look at him. We're going to be able to see out. A little further, no, we can't see out. Get out. You can see all you want. Oh man, this is. <laughs> I got a bad feeling of karma with all this. A wave of hunger has struck over the members of Great Big Sea. They've totally forgotten all about their five pound deadline that they had to lose by the time of the video. Don't got one. Daryl is trying to get up to it. Bob is going hot dog number four, is it, Sean? I don't know, man. That's three. He's just, he just had full on this. That's three for Bob. Shop and Sean are just having water. <laughs> Yeah, what's that hamburger number four? Hot dogs aren't fit to eat, man. You gotta go open with the good up, quality open beef. Open it up, man. Let's see what's in it. So open it up, man. You're getting all your essentials there. You're getting your, oh, you your, fruit, your fruit, your veggies, yeah. your fruit, your, your mustard seed, and your uh, tomato. Amazing. <laughs> it's that kind of a day. <laughs> Fragile day. The power actually has a fragile figure tattooed to his back. 
some clothes on, shall we? Yeah. I love this shit. <laughs> shit like this, it makes me want to stay in the bed. <laughs> Go ahead. No. Just this back and watch power. Go on, I just think I'm stuck for a fact. Oh, man. Yeah, great moose. First time I see one out the freezer. I was asleep, and a moose, a moose woke me up. Hey, we're in Gander. going scale and search for the perfect sexual aid Big Big C has installment number two in, oh, what you got? in the uh, sexual aid this is foreplay <laughs> foreplay for lovers this is the original climax control desensitizing lotion Bob yeah we have now joined <laughs> millions of satisfied customers who regularly use Burnett's products. Warning, do not use on eyes or large areas of body. What about you got a really big dick? Well, put it on, man. Let's try it on. See what I'm going to put it on. Now. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Okay, here we go. This is what it looks like in there. Oh, it's just like a little... Uh... What is the fucking Novocaine or something? Is there one? Yeah, I was just going to say. It should be uh, nice and uh, just throw me coffee, look. <laughs> we got a buzz on here on the way on the road here. Are you volunteers to rub on the... Uh, who let's play a bit of hammer, rock, scissors, and the loser has to offer up a body part. Rub it on Bob. Rub it on Bob. Tony, let me shake your hand. Yeah. You see myself going, oh, one second now. All of a sudden, she puts, she puts it on. I rubbed it on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Silly now. Anyway, continue. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Like that. <laughs> Look, let's get it straight right now, Doyle. The octave mandolin was not meant for a hammer. Oh, definitely. Let's get that you know, right. I don't want to see a hammer. There'll be no hammers, man. Tony? You be watching, will you? When Alan gets that thing hooked up, we, we, you we'll be playing any rough see him put one hammer on, on that neck of that and take him down, take him out the mix. Here comes Daryl, here comes Ed. It's going to be some good when you learn to. Moaning, dogs in heat, rabid, foaming. A beast caged in the heart of a city, the body of his mother rotting in the summer ground. He fled the town, went down south, crossed the border, left the chaos and disorder back there, over his shoulder. One morning he awoke in a strange hotel room with a green creature oozing beside him. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. Oh, it's, it's lyrics like that that make you just want to, you know, pick it up and play on Sunday mornings. Because <laughs> <laughs> a molester is a person in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood, in your neighborhood. A molester is a person in your neighborhood. Here's a word to expect at least. They could be your parish priest. Here's the person that you meet each day. How do you feel, Alan? Oh, really good. How do you feel good? They know that's that's two times five is ten. Two times six is twelve. <laughs> two times seven is fourteen. And now you can do it with yourself. <laughs> two times eight is sixteen. Two times nine is eighteen. We can keep on going so much higher. Now two times ten is twenty. <laughs> And I really right, think right. that's plenty. Hey, Bob, what are you say about this? Oh, man, I've had enough of this. You've had enough of this? It's uh, 2 o'clock in the morning, like, yeah. driving for 12 hours. Daryl has sung non-stop for 12 <laughs> hours. <laughs> yeah, I've had it, right? I'm done, man. Sorry, I'm fucking busy. He is, you know what's coming next. So let's continue with no hesitation, and we'll learn the simple tables of multiplication. <laughs> <laughs> there, there we go, great. Great three, boss. Great three.
Shamakan has recently learned that he loves to chill before a show. It gets his uh, voice back in, in, in game and ready to go. And uh, we're, we're going to chat with him now. His time is almost up. <laughs> Sean, how do you feel? Uh, oxygen, great. Good. You couldn't have a sauna? He was 280 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, before you went in there. <laughs> My, my accomplishment, my, my goal is to go this whole tour and not get drunk once. What about it, man? That's silly. You know? I'm, I'm, you know. <laughs> That's dumb, boy. That's foolish. That's foolish. That's foolish. That's foolish. There's a grand piano. drum made from the skin of a goat it was originally used by the Celts in times of war in order to frighten away their enemies. Now Great Big C uses this drum to frighten away its audiences. <laughs> This is crazy, insane, insane. People are going insane here. We just might give a shot of uh, John McCann in, in his full, full display of nudity. Let's go. Quarry minds want to know. There he is. Ladies and gentlemen. Sean, what do you think of last night's festivities? Uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> morning. Right off the back. We've come to an impasse here this morning. Yeah. What's going uh, on, Bob? Bob, why won't what's Bob going? Sit in the Bob back. won't get in the van. No, I don't sit in the back, man. Why? Because I don't like sitting in the back. Because I can't fucking. There's nowhere to look. I look out the sides. I'm far from somewhere. Oh, you're just fucking head for an hour. Now. Story slow. Yeah. Ask him again. Why don't you like sitting in the back? <laughs> oh, I don't. Uh, okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> Say when. 
It's just ready, man. No, oh, sorry, I didn't know. I didn't know we were running. <laughs> just further exploring the uh, newly found anomaly that uh, Bob does not sit in the front seat. Myself and Daryl were just discussing an incident that happened from board in the Cape Tormentine, and uh, Bob, being very tired, had to sit in the back seat. <laughs> for, for that brief moment, it was it was a necessity that he sit. Just ask him why. This is why. Why? Bob, want to explain to us why that was okay? Well, I already told you, man. You figure that out for yourself. I said, you're an intelligent man, you can figure that out for yourself. It's a bit too close. Cool. It is close, I've seen this. Sausage. I've had sausage before, <laughs> but I've never in my whole life had sausage <laughs> like this. <laughs> Good evening. You might Thanks think this is very bizarre, but this is very common. <laughs> great big, great, great big sea on tour. Constantly eat Sakapani sausage is the only one for us. So when we get hungry, we come all the way to Sakapani. <laughs> Long way to go, but it's worth the trip. It's crap all over this one. Just posing for a shot here. We have just arrived in Warsaw. We are in this. <laughs> Go back. Sorry there. again. Sorry, I've been tossed around here like I'm. You know what? What, what am I here? What am I? What am I? What am I? Did a last on her name is Mary Mac and make no mistake. She's the girl I'm gonna track. Lots of other fellas try to get her on our back, but I'm thinking that'll have to get a birdie. Mary Mac's mother's making Mary Mac marry me. My mother's making me marry Mary Mac. Well, I'm gonna marry Mary for the Mary's taking care of me. Well, I'll be feeling merry when I marry Mary Mac. Hi, you little at little at little dumb. This is a very traditional, traditional band. It's just our presentation that differs. Uh, we're very aggressive in the way we like treat our audiences. We're in your face. We, we dance and sing. As, we give our all on stage. We present it as a rowdy, as, as best way we can, which is the best way we think it can go over. That's deep, guys. That's really, I'm sorry. I shouldn't start this interview out on a mocking note, but up. That's the way people feel after they listen to our record. And that's it's very true. true. It is true. We, we were playing the CD this morning, actually, and Jonathan was doing... Jonathan can't dance. Okay. No Jonathan's offense, a Jonathan. White boy. He's a very much a white boy, but he's he's sitting in there just yeah, doing dancing. the jig. He I was. I cleverly mm -hmm. sat in my seat and danced. Yeah, you during seat dancing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I just sang along to the song. You guys are the greatest. This is so cool having you out west. It's beautiful to be here because we never got to Victoria before. No, nope, uh, the sun. And, uh, Sunshine? It's following oh, us. It's followed it. us all the way across the country. Has it? For those of you who don't understand, we are from the tropical part of Canada, <laughs> Newfoundland. It's of course the tropical island with coconuts rolling up and down the streets. So drop down. <laughs> <laughs> Check it out. Is it? It's, it's not really that nice in Newfoundland this time of year, is it? Is it beautiful? Sort of, it's always it? nice yeah. in Newfoundland. Yeah. You're lying. You're, so I'm going to go to so Bob because Bob's the one that tells the truth. When Bob speaks, it's truth. Yeah. Talk to me, Bob. What's it like in Newfoundland this time of year? Well, there's a lot of icebergs, but, you know, <laughs> icebergs are nice, too. Not, not enough Canadians have seen icebergs. I think they all lie. Daryl's just standing here just saying, I'm not getting into this. Okay, let's have some background. Motley. Background. As motley as horrible. How long have you guys been together? <laughs> Three years as of last weekend. St. Patrick's Day, we celebrated our third anniversary. Did you have a party? Did you give each other gifts, oh, rings? We party. played, of course. Yeah, we played. <laughs> the gig we played Barry Moore's in Toronto, in Ottawa, sorry, right? And, it was sold out and, it was and did you do something special sort of to celebrate the anniversary? Just yeah, yeah, we actually got in the van, drove for six hours. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the best way to celebrate, you know? Spent a little quality time together, actually. Yeah. Yeah. We had a chat. Time to reminisce, nice you know, chat. about the good old days. <laughs> now, is this the first major release of yours? Uh, yeah. Our we first record, actually, we sold about 30,000 copies independently, which right. is called Great Big C. And as a result of that, we got signed to Warner, so Up is the first uh, major label release. My God, people are you watch your back, man. I got you, I got you. <laughs> 
Yeah, now you do a real mix of sort of traditional songs and your own songs. Yeah. Um, how do you actually, you know, pick which uh, traditional songs you fight. want to do? We fight it you out. Fight? Fight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so let's just check out who's the winner here. I'm I thinking that this guy wins a lot. Oh, I, win, I win more than my share. I actually outweigh the band. Yeah, so. The entire band. In terms of weight class, I, I definitely win. We're back. Great Big C has taken over the entire station. And we're here and we're, we're, interviewing, we're interviewing Ace of Bass, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> So tell us about your new record. Well, it's fabulous. It's really, really good. How do you find Canada? <laughs> Canada, it's really cool. <laughs> Give me back that microphone. Jeez. Great big goose. That's Great who they big are. goose. He's, He's lost it. Get over yes. here. Don't get so close to the edge there, yes. son. Yeah. No, we He's pretty close to the edge. I'll tell you that. <laughs> we decided to come back near the water because I know Sean, you were hey, feeling, seal. you were feeling homesick. Well, yeah. Look, there's homesick. a seal yeah. up there. We thought we'd bring you close to the water, and there's actually a fishing boat down here. It might, does it remind you of home it up here? It reminds me very much of Newfoundland. We've been homesick, actually. Beautiful. Have you? But okay. how long have you guys been away? Well, this is like 25 days out for us today. Is that a long haul? Uh, not particularly, no, but it's uh, long enough for us to be homesick. Yeah. Well, it was on last Monday morning, and the day been calm and fine. To the Harbour Grace excursion with the boys to have a time. And just before the sailor took the gangway from the pier, I saw some fellow haul me wife and boarded a volunteer. Oh me, oh my, I heard me all a cry. Oh me, oh my, I think I'm gonna die. Oh me, oh my, I heard me all a say. I wish I'd never taken this excursion around the bay. Again, oh me, oh my, I heard me all a cry. Oh me, oh my, I think I'm gonna die. Oh me, oh my, I heard me all a say. I wish I'd never taken this excursion around the bay. Hey! I love you guys. Excellent. You guys are my favorite. <laughs> so why, uh, why kiss? Uh, uh, nine. Uh, Candace General Taylor. Uh, Oops, sorry. Sharpen sorry. time. Uh, How are you, Jean? You Show us your tongue. Oh yeah. Not yet. <laughs> I have to be in full costume. Kiss rocks. Okay. Oh, wheels, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Sean and Noel. Can I use them? And now for something <laughs> Christmas video. Uh, That's why you already said it. I said definitely. You put it. Waiting up. Oh, look at my look at son. You know he's not a movie you know, star. Look at the face on him. Now, if only he wasn't such a. <laughs> a wuss? Oh, no. I was going to say. I was going to say a word that started with C. Oh, no. Character. Character. Such a yeah. character. character. Yeah. Look. Oh, look at that. Look at the jog and everything, right? Boffed, right? Boffed. So right, boffed. <laughs> Mrs. McCain, you're so lucky to have a son like him. Ha, ah, the person you've been waiting for, the group you've been waiting for. Our guests are finally here and they're going to perform right now all the way from Newfoundland. Well understand? Well Newfoundland. Well understand? Well Newfoundland. We've been receiving emails all week from their fans around the country and in Canada and Great Britain who are watching on real video at ktca.org. They're playing the Cedar Cultural Center tomorrow night and we're talking about the big C. When we say big C, you guys are playing tomorrow night. I want to say that's 7.30. 7.30 okay. tomorrow night. And we say Great Big C, big it's not C, the letter C, for those who don't know, it's spelled S-E-A. That's right. Kind of a cute name. How'd that come about? It's uh, from a traditional song where we're from in Newfoundland. It's an old song about a tidal wave called Great Big Sea Hove in Long Beach. Here's the closest thing we have to our philosophy. This is a simple wish. A very simple wish. May I see more sunshine and rain and may I feel more fortune than pain Oh, may my heart never be broken 
broken. May my head remain unbound, or may the silver lining shine right through the clouds. To the faraway faces and friends To the people and places I have been I'll sing you a song I won't keep you long For the tambourines playing and the carnival's calling me home People will know yeah, what happened yeah, to us yeah. anyway. Great big shoes. <laughs> Lost in the mountain. But that's right. the it's our van's black box. <laughs> <laughs> we are in trouble. <laughs> Daryl. Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck off, man. Okay.